Welcome to Dubai, the desert kingdom where there's no such thing as too much. This city has spent more than a decade making a name for itself for the outrageous buildings that it's created. Well, now it seems it wants to be known for technology too. A while ago, I paid it a visit during its Drones for Good challenge and met some of the local innovators who Dubai hopes will contribute to its new tech power image. But drones are not the only things taking to the skies. This hover bike, designed for the police force, may one day be whizzing officers to the scene of a crime. Copper chopper, anyone? The officers can be uh, using uh, the hover bikes across the city so to provide a better service, uh, the right spot and even a faster, a faster response. And these weren't the only high-tech additions to the force. Back in May, the Dubai police got some new recruits, and these weren't your ordinary newcomers. Now, these guys were made of the hard stuff, and Kate Russell went to meet them. Like so much of Dubai's over-the-top ambition, the police force wants to be seen using the latest crime prediction and surveillance technology to watch over the people. We have our cameras, our drones, our reports. We are going to live in science fiction movies. Artificial intelligence-based predictive crime systems, autonomous patrol vehicles, and unmanned police stations are just a few of their futuristic initiatives. I am a humanoid service robot. Planned to be built in all of Dubai's neighborhoods are the world's first smart police stations, which will be completely unstaffed. Citizens can pop in for a safe driving lesson, a quick coffee, or even to report crimes. They can also meet Dubai's own RoboCop. I am the latest incorporation to Dubai's police department. But unlike the movies, hello, he'll kill you with kindness. You have really pretty eyes. <laughs> I think I'm getting hit on by a robot. Do you think I'm beautiful? Yes, I love talking with you. Thank you. You are absolutely astoundingly gorgeous, <laughs> and it's the least interesting thing about you. Oh! My sensors detect a paparazzi among us. <laughs> Guess who it is? It's him. Flirting aside, the head of artificial intelligence for Dubai Police sees the future with AI and robotics very much at its heart. Behind it is the uh, artificial intelligence, so it can see you, it, can, it has a facial recognition, so it can identify the person in front of him and send all the live feeding to the command and control system. We do have a project, what we call it Dubai Eye, where we have integrated all the CCTV cameras uh, across the city. And on top of that, we're going to build a smart system where it can has it has a facial recognition. It's so difficult to monitor more than 10,000 cameras in the city. So we have an intelligence system where we can analyze a live feeding from those cameras and can predict also and it can identify all kinds of activities, especially the wanted people. Although this unmanned facility currently still needs a human on conference call when it comes to reporting a crime. So I would like to report a crime there is a robot here, and he's stolen my heart. He stole your car? My heart. Oh. My, your heart, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've recently seen Chicago PD's crime-predicting algorithms, and now Dubai's police are turning their focus to preventing crimes before they even happen. This application analyzes past crime and uh, try to predict where and when the next crime in that zone could happen in the future. Another one of the smart services offered to citizens in Dubai is the ability to register if you have a history of cardiovascular problems. You can see on the map there, represented by hearts. Now this means that when an ambulance is called, it will instantly know that it could be attending a heart attack victim. And they said that this has allowed them to reduce the number of fatalities by more than 
that's an impressive statistic, but is this widespread surveillance reminding anyone else of a certain sci-fi film? People are going to equate this to minority reports. What kind of protocols do you have in place to make sure that the data is used in ethical ways in future? We don't predict who will commit the crime. We predict where it could happen and when it could happen, so we can prevent it and reduce the rate for the crimes. With one in three crimes being successfully predicted this time last year, the benefits of using artificial intelligence are, well, predictable. What's more surprising is that the drone team here in Dubai would like to see it taken even further. They believe they can use drones to spot a potential criminal by analysing a person's vital signs. The uh, drone operator uh, at the command and control can uh, select a target and the camera will automatically lock on that target. Using some different sensors, we can uh, identify persons of blood pressure, uh, temperature. Uh, the weather itself can all play a role in uh, person committing a crime. You can predict that the person is willing to commit a crime or a terrorist attack or something. Like so many of Dubai's big plans, all this stuff seems to have one foot in ambitious reality and the other in well-intentioned fantasy. It's a place worth keeping an eye on, though, and you can be very sure they'll be keeping an eye on us.